Good morning YouTube. And I don't know if you've noticed, but the past year or two there's been a bit of a pandemic going on. And as a result, uh, the government in the UK has sent out some antibody test kits. This involves pricking your finger and you send a drop of blood to them and they check you to see if you've got antibodies. Well I did that and I had some of these left over and these are the little things that you put into your finger, makes a little hole and the blood comes out. So in here is a spring loaded blade and the idea is you take the end off, it's like a safety cap, put that on your finger, push the button, blade comes out, blood comes out, blood everywhere, very nasty. Not the most enjoyable thing in the world, but we want to see how far the blade comes out and how much it actually comes into your finger and what's actually inside one of these because it's quite an interesting mechanism. So you push the button and there's a spring loaded blade that comes out and then very quickly goes back in again. So how does that transition from out to in work? All in a simple, cheap, I suppose, package. So one thing to note is when you pick these up, you can hear a rattle. So ever there's obviously something in there that's not tense. Maybe there's a spring in there that's not actually compressed until you push the button. But I'll give it a test fire on this bit of cardboard because I'm not putting my finger in it again because that uh, safety cap has been removed. And now the safety cap's gone. That rattly thing is that spring. See that spring down in there? If I tilt it forward, the spring's now at the front. And as I tilt it back, it goes back. So that spring is not compressed. And you see in there, there's the blade. So if I put it onto my pretend finger, so this cardboard is completely clean, put it in, and there's a little hole. And now, that spring is compressed. Hmm, so what's happened there? I think we've got to take the end off to see what's inside this. I'm going to do this carefully because uh, it's a spring loaded blade that's designed to cut skin. Well, it's a part, and that blade on there looks rather savage. So, simple things. You basically got a spring loaded a spring here that you push that compresses this spring, and that blade's held in by this cap. And when you push it, you push it through the cap, the blade shoots out, hits that spring, that spring compresses and pushes it back again. And that's pretty much it. There's nothing really in there. I mean, you can see the grooves that the blade sits in. So it sits in them slots. And then that black plastic thing sits in there. And that sort of retains the blade. And you push it through that. And that's what causes it to fire. If you look at the blade on there. It looks pretty nasty. So that's obviously designed to pierce through the skin. I guess it can only go up to the purple. So that's how deep it would be. Let's measure it see how far... how deep it would go it goes in three and a half mil so it's a three and a half mil wound in your skin lovely right well there you go that's what's inside one of these you may have found that useful you may have found that completely random because there's no electronics but i just find this sort of stuff quite interesting uh, this is all obviously mass produced quite a complicated motion but actually fairly simple when to get apart so uh hope you enjoyed that if you did give it a thumbs up and i'll see you next time Bye for now.